Random variables and probability distributions is the new chapter which we are going to discuss for the session. Now the concept of random variables has come into existence and before we start with this, let's try to understand that in science or the group of sciences, we conduct many experiments, especially in physics. We have so many experiments where we examine the data and finally we conclude with some value where the whole experiment depends on that value or the outcome of the experiment is totally decided on the value we obtain as in case of many experiments we conduct. Similarly, probability also is about an experiment or a random experiment. Say for example, I take a coin and toss it. When I toss a coin, say, 20 times and I get 11 times the tail. So I conduct an experiment until and unless I toss the coin 20 times continuously where until and unless I get 11 times tails. If I get 11 tails, then my experiment is done. So this kind of repetitive experiment to, in order to get 11 tails in 20 attempts of tossing a coin is totally based on the random variables. This is how we come across with introducing the concept of random variable comes into existence in case of these kind of problems. So let's see how we define the random variables and come out with understanding the random variables and probability distributions connected with the daily experiments. Bernoulli trial. Let's see what is Bernoulli trial. Now, if I conduct an experiment And I expect two possible outcomes by conducting an experiment. If I have two possible outcomes, where one outcome is called success and the other outcome is called failure, then such an experiment is called Bernoulli trial. So an experiment in which we have two possible outcomes, one is success and one is failure is called Bernoulli trial. So in this, the probability of success and probability of failure are very much connected. Say for example, getting an head when a coin is tossed. So in, the, in case of this problem, we know that when I have a coin tossed, the two possibilities are I get a head or a tail. So this is purely an experiment which is called a Bernoulli trial because tossing of a coin has two contents, one is success and failure. But because I want to get a head, this is considered as success and the way and the toss in which I don't get a head or a tail is said to be a failure trial. So whenever I get a tail, it's a failure trial and whenever I get a head, it is a success trial. It's how I differentiate between success and failure for a tossing of a coin. Bernoulli trial connected with tossing of a coin. So basically, we define Bernoulli trial as an experiment which has two possible outcomes and generally the two possible outcomes are said to be success and probability of success and probability of failure is how we see the two outcomes. One is success and one is failure. So let's see the relation between probability of success and probability of failure. Now that we have defined a Bernoulli trial and its two outcomes being success and failure, 
Now next comes on how we relate the probability of success and probability of failure. So in a Bernoulli trial, if P is probability of success, if I denote the probability of success with P, and Q is denoted for probability of failure, of failure, then that implies probability of success plus probability of failure is always equal to 1, as how we understand the relation between probability of success and probability of failure will, al will always sum up to be 1. Or you can say P is 1 minus Q or Q is 1 minus P. That's how we understand the relation between P and Q, the probability of success and probability of failure of a Bernoulli trial. So let's take a simple experiment to understand with a problem on how we can connect the relation between probability of success and probability of failure. Say, the question is find the probability of not getting a 3 on the top surface when a die is rolled. This is how we have the question. So let's connect this with the probability of success and failure connected here. So if I have the question which says find the probability of not getting a 3 on the top surface when a die is rolled, I see that the event is rolling a die with the intention that I should not get 3 on the top surface. So what would be the probability? So if P is probability of getting a 3 that implies Q is probability of not getting a 3 because this is success of getting a 3 and Q is a failure of not getting a 3 and Q is probability of not getting a 3. So in this case P relates to success and Q relates to failure. So the question is about probability of the failure which I need to find here. Therefore I clearly have P is probability of getting a 3 is 1 over 6 which I can find and therefore Q is P minus or 1 minus P which I have from the relation between probability of success and failure and therefore P equal to this implies Q equal to this 1 over 6 6 minus 1 by 6 is 5 over 6 therefore Q is 5 over 6 implies probability 